Uh, inspiring, excruciating. Where do you land uh, between that right now? Uh, just disappointing more than anything. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I can't be too uh, disappointed, I guess, but I, in the moment right now, I. Uh, yeah, I just came so close. I feel like this, the Tour de France and me have a pretty bad relationship with uh, coming close on stages. And yeah, I feel like I give my best and it uh, just hasn't hasn't come yet. Take us through this last 10 kilometers. Were you thinking about the four guys behind you or were you thinking about the peloton at that point? I was just thinking about my legs and uh, yeah, trying to do the best possible effort uh, from bottom to top. I wasn't really... Uh, thinking about anyone or pacing off of anyone um, but then yeah to be honest once I heard uh, Pogacar was coming uh, in the last 3k I just yeah I had a, <laughs> I had a bad feeling obviously and then uh, yeah when he passed me I mentally uh, uh, I knew uh, even if I stayed in his wheel he would beat me so um, yeah it's uh, just disappointing for the moment. Big picture on the day, uh, was this uh, a plan that changed halfway between, it got went to plan B? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We originally just wanted to be in the break for Jonas, uh, satellite riders. And then, uh, yeah, we got the call that uh, we should just go, yeah, switch, switch and go for the stage. And I have to say, like, huge, huge thank you to Wilco. He's so selfless and such a good teammate and um, is having, yeah, it's just, yeah, he's just such an amazing guy and to just automatically ride for me. He didn't ask any questions. I said I was feeling good and he just went all in for me. And um, that's really special. I, I feel like uh, also in Perinice, he was there, part of my victory. And yeah, I owe him a lot. How much did you lose in, in terms of uh, the big effort that you made early on that you could have used there towards the end? Say that again, sorry. Yeah, it was a big effort you made to go in the break, and our commentators were saying, Gus, does he have anything left to make a move? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, to get in the break, it's always an effort. Um, but, yeah, without those, without the four minutes, we also wouldn't have had a chance uh, in the front of the peloton to go for the stage, so it was a necessary effort. Mateo, I don't think anybody could have stopped Tade today. Were you surprised to see him coming, surprised that he took on this stage and attacked? No, I'm not surprised uh, by, by him. No. How brutally hard is today's stage, and you get you get to face tomorrow as well. And what has been a hard Tour de France, already starting with 4,000 meters of climbing on day one. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been hard. I, I um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good actually. Like today, I really surprised myself with the legs I had. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I've never been this good this deep into a Grand Tour. So that's also a positive. What to do tomorrow? Don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Mateo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys.